Hi, I am so excited that you are here with me today. If you are feeling feelings of dissatisfaction towards your body or even body hate, please know you are so not alone. 91% of women are dissatisfied with their bodies. In today's video, you are gonna learn an empowered technique to support you in reducing those feelings and helping you step into more love, compassion, and appreciation with your body, which we all deserve. So I can't wait for you to experience this magic. One of my clients shared that this video tool has helped her so much with her relationship with her body and she feels so much more love and acceptance and that it actually totally shifted the way she looks at herself in the mirror every day, which she never thought possible. So I am so excited at the opportunity for you to experience similar results. For the best tools on body positivity and confidence, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video for you every Thursday. If you are new to EFT, please check out my intro to EFT video so you feel supported on all the steps. And if you are familiar, then we will get right into it. Please remember to take physical and emotional responsibility for yourself. Even though this is a general tapping technique and video, you may experience emotional symptoms that come up. And I really want to make sure that you feel supported and that you take individual responsibility and reach out for the support that you need. Okay, let's get started. So step one, round one, we are going to create a measurement so that we can really track your progress throughout this entire video because I really want you to see and feel those shifts. So we're going to use this phrase as our test. So you might want to grab a piece of paper and get out a pen so that you can track along. First, I'd love for you to say out loud, I hate my body and rate how true that feels for you on a scale of one to 10. 10 meaning absolutely true and one meaning not at all. And I realize that this is a harsh word that we're using. And I think we all need to just realize that we do tend to have these really negative thoughts towards our body and that using this type of a phrase is really gonna help us reduce the power of that thought in our minds and help us step into this empowered, loving relationship with our body. So go ahead and say out loud, I hate my body and rate how true that feels for you on a scale of one to 10 and you can write that down. Okay, so let's get into our first round of tapping. So even though I hate the way my body looks right now, and I can't even look at it in the mirror, I love, accept, and forgive myself. Even though I'm feeling this hate towards my body, and my relationship with my body is nowhere near where I'd like it to be. I love, accept, and forgive myself. Even though I'm feeling all this hate towards my body, I feel so hopeless about it all. I'm just so upset. I love, accept, and forgive myself. Tapping through the points now. All these feelings of hate towards my body. I feel so upset. All these feelings of hate towards my body. My relationship with my body just isn't where I'd like it to be. Will this ever change? I can't even look at myself in the mirror. It feels so challenging. Am I gonna be stuck like this forever? All this hate I'm feeling towards my body all this negativity towards my body, all this blame towards my body. My relationship with my body is nowhere near where I'd like it to be. I feel so stuck. Is this ever gonna change? I'm feeling so down about it. All this hate I'm feeling towards my body So now go ahead and take a nice clearing breath on your own time. And let's come back to our original test. So on a scale of one to 10, 10 being high, one meaning low, how true does it feel for you in this moment to say, I hate my body? And notice if that number has shifted from the first round. So if it hasn't, I'll invite you to go back and complete the round we just did. And if it has shifted and gone down, then please stay with us and we'll carry on because this will guarantee the most effective way to use this powerful tool. Okay, we're going into round two. 
So back to the side of the hand, even though I still hate my body. And I see how this hate is affecting other areas of my life. I love, accept, and forgive myself anyways. Even though I'm still feeling these feelings of hate towards my body. And there's no way you can force me to change that. I love and accept myself. Even though I'm still feeling these negative feelings towards my body. And I can't be happy until this changes. I love and accept myself. Still feeling this hate towards my body. Still feeling all this negativity towards my body. I can't be happy until my body changes. It's just not possible for me to be happy until I change my body. All these feelings of hate towards my body. All these negative feelings towards my body. You just can't force me to change it. You can't make me to feel more acceptance towards my body. It's just not gonna happen. I can't be happy until my relationship with my body changes. I see how this is affecting my life. All this negativity towards my body. I really see how this is affecting my life. But you just can't force me to accept my body. Maybe this will never change. Taking a deep breath in, coming back to your test, saying out loud to yourself, I hate my body. And how true does that feel on a scale of one to 10? Notice if that shifted and let's write that down on your piece of paper. So again, if your number has shifted and gone down, follow me and we're gonna go down to our third round. And if it hasn't, again, go back and complete the last round, try to push and clear some more of that negative energy. Okay, so now we're gonna go into round three. So tapping on the side of the hand, even though I'm still feeling this hate towards my body, I'm actually feeling it less than I was at the beginning. So maybe it is possible for me to change my relationship with my body. Even though part of me is still feeling this hate towards my body. I'm realizing that there's this other part of me that does want to be more loving and appreciative towards my body. And I'm working to love and accept both these parts of me. Even though there's a part of me that still has this hate and dissatisfaction towards my body. I'm actually feeling that part a little bit less since we started. So maybe I won't be stuck like this forever. Maybe I can really change this relationship with my body. And I'm open to learning how. Part of me is feeling less hate towards my body. Part of me would really like to have a more loving and appreciative relationship towards my body. I'm feeling less hate towards my body. And if this has shifted already in these few minutes, then maybe it is really possible for me to shift my relationship with my body. Maybe I can have a more loving and appreciative relationship with my body. Maybe I won't be stuck like this forever. Maybe I can change this. There's still a part of me that feels this dissatisfaction towards my body, but there's another part of me opening up who feels more compassion towards my body. So my, maybe I can spend a little bit more time with this part of me. So taking a nice clearing breath, checking back in on that scale. How true does it feel for you now to say, I hate my body on a scale of one to 10 and notice the shifts that are coming up for you. You may already be having these cognitive shifts where your mind is saying different things to you and nope, that doesn't feel true for me anymore. And 
the different thought patterns that are coming up. So really acknowledge those and you might want to write them down because this is progress in changing the actual brain patterns that are telling you you hate your body. We're actually taking energy away from that and moving it back in the direction of your most empowered self, which is who you really are. We're tapping away those little clouds that are standing in the way of an empowered relationship between you and your body. Okay, let's move on to our final round and let's start to increase more of that love and acceptance. So even though part of me is still not completely happy with my relationship with my body, I love and accept myself anyways. Even though part of me still has this negativity towards my body, there's this other part of me opening up that's getting stronger and feels more compassion and forgiveness towards my body. And maybe I'm taking all the right steps right here, right now to be more loving and accepting towards my body. Even though there's this part of me who still feels some dissatisfaction and negativity towards my body. I'm feeling that a lot less than I was originally when we started. So maybe that is showing me that I can change. Because there's this other part of me opening up who's feeling more acceptance, more compassion, and more forgiveness towards my body. And I'd love to spend a little bit more time with that part of me. Maybe it's possible for me to really change. Maybe I can welcome more forgiveness and acceptance toward my body. One day at a time. Even in this moment, I'm creating more love and acceptance towards my body. There's still this part of me that still feels some dissatisfaction towards my body. But maybe just for today, I can lean a little bit more into that part of me who's feeling more love, compassion, acceptance towards my body. And maybe just for today, in this moment, I can allow myself to feel a little bit more of that energy. And the more I allow myself to feel this, the more I can open myself up to feel it more and more every day. So maybe I really can change my relationship with my body. Maybe it's possible that I won't be stuck like this forever. And maybe just doing this simple exercise is welcoming in a lot of healing energy for me and my body. And maybe I can trust that this will lead me in the next direction to invite more love, acceptance, and healing towards my body. Maybe it's possible that I can have more love, acceptance, and compassion towards my body. Taking a nice clearing breath. And just noticing on a scale of one to 10, how true does it feel for you now to say, I hate my body? I'd love for you to just reflect back on how far you've come since the beginning of this training and noticing the shifts that you've experienced. Again, tuning into those thought patterns that are coming up because that is you creating cognitive shifts. And this is so, so powerful and key to developing a more loving, accepting relationship with your body. So I'd love for you to comment below and share how much that number has changed since where we started. And know that if that number hasn't shifted that much, that is totally okay. Sometimes when we've been feeling these things for a long time, it takes work to get that energy that's stuck to really move, but you will get there. I see you and I know that this is beyond possible for you and there's nothing I would love more than to see you develop a more loving, compassionate, and appreciative relationship with yourself and your body because that is truly who you are. We're just tapping away the clouds and the energy that's keeping you stuck. And we're going to free you and let that sunshine come right in.
So great work today. I am so proud of you for taking the time to really empower yourself, reduce those negative feelings towards your body and welcome in more love, forgiveness, compassion, and all the things that are at the top vibrational scale. You now have an empowered tool that you can use as many times as you want to support you in stepping into more love and acceptance towards your body. So what happens if you are experiencing that inner critic start to climb in in different areas of your life? Well, there's a free training I've created for you down below that will help you to feel supported at all times and support you to step into your confidence in all areas of your life. So check that out. The link is right below for you to download your training. Now that we've completed all of our tapping, let's really take this energy to the next level and create an empowered action step for you so that you can continue to feel this love, acceptance, and compassion every single day forward. So what would someone who wants to develop a more loving and accepting relationship with their body start to do. And this could be tiny, this could be a small action step, but we wanna make sure that we've taken the energy shift that we've created today and moved it into an empowered action step that is measurable, meaningful, and that you are motivated to do on a scale of one to 10. So a suggestion could be that you could complete this training video every single day and notice the shifts that you're experiencing towards your body and how you feel towards it. This could be your action step and I would welcome that, but I really want you to think about what would make you feel excited to do and motivated to do and make sure that that motivation is high, high, high so that you can guarantee that you're going to do it. You can also go ahead and share your action step down below. And if you need support, I'm happy to help you in the comments. If you'd like to join a group of incredible women where I share a lot of additional tools and resources to support you in stepping into your most confident, loving, accepting and abundant self, then you can join our Facebook group down below. The link is there for you. And I would love to see you in there. If you like this video and found it valuable, please hit the like and subscribe button so that you can always be tuned into the next videos. And also please share this with someone that you know could really benefit from it and use the support. That would make me so happy to spread the love. I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to connect with you again soon. Keep being your magnetic, loving, and vibrant self.